I have never been so excited for a video. Oh my god. Jalapeno. They ain't no eating yet. Oh. Hello! Welcome back to What's the Safe Room? I'm Amp. And I'm Bolt. And today, we're gonna talk about some food. Food. I just want to start out by saying that this is not a size shaming episode. Also, it's really funny to just put three pizzas in front of him and not let him eat. He's just evil. <laughs> <laughs> so body image is a really, really important subject. We teach kids to exercise and get out and eat healthy. We even are consciously tracking the calories we eat because we want our bodies to be appropriate and ready and presentable for sex. But what if I told you there was a kink all about food? What? and eating, and more eating, <laughs> to your heart's content. Well, it's a good thing you came here to gain some knowledge. Because today's topic is called gaining, and it has a counterpart called feeding, which is a food-related kink. And this is, as you can see, all about eating. Because you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass. How did you fit that all in you? I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Oh my god, you're dripping everywhere. I'm all about that bass. Welcome to the world of gaining, a sexual fetish that celebrates bloated bellies and just expanding your waistline. In the wide world of food play, this is also known as feederism, and it's literally just about eating and tracking that and affecting your body in some way that has to do with food. Food play can have sexual and non-sexual connotations. It often refers to cytophilia, a fetish where people are aroused by the concept of food and being around food and eating food. That means inserting, cooking, covering people in food, just being around it naked. Food play is an all-encompassing kink that just has to do with this lovely insertable. I'd roll that up and stick it in me. Like any of the fetishes we cover, there are key terms and a vocabulary that comes with food-related fetishes. The first of which are gainers and feed ease. These people are the ones that are eating food, they are being given food, they are kind of the submissive in this regard. Not something I would mind. <laughs> The encourager or feeder, the person who gives the person the food, who encourages them, who's usually just there encouraging the feedee to continue eating. Whether physically or emotionally. Ball belly is a term used for the actual belly itself. It's the shape that they want, it's what they're trying to gain. They're trying to gain that size in their belly and not everywhere else, specifically in this kink. Submissive gainers, people who put the eating habits that they want to maintain into the hands of someone else. Bloating is the process in which you're eating a bunch of food so that your stomach seems larger. Padding is a gainer favorite term where one places cushions beneath their clothing to give the appearance of being fatter. Squashing is a term used when the gainer is either squashing their partner or other food or just other objects with the size and the weight that they're gaining. Inflation is the insertion of air, liquids, or food into the body forcefully and making them expand like a balloon. It was like I was imagining someone's intestines being like turned into a, a balloon animal and then just <laughs> floating away. I feel like I've seen this on Fur Affinity. Oh boy. Splooshing, a term popularized by Pam from Archer, but it's a term that means you're actually getting someone dirty or you are becoming dirty. It's a form of serolophilia in which you are getting your desire soiled or dirty or just covered in food. Ooh. Ooh. Vorophilia, the arousal of eating another person or body part. Generally seen in fan art and erotic fiction, but it's not legal because that's cannibalism. Don't do that. Don't eat other people. Don't. The only lambs you should be eating are, are actual lambs <laughs> who are silenced already. <laughs> Cause you know I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Oh uh, yeah. I'm all about that bass, about that bass. Are you scruffing right now? I'm all about that bass. So what makes food fetishes and food play so popular? Well, we see it online, we see it in TVs, we see it in movies. And in Sex in the City, Samantha even practices Neo Tamiyoi. Which for those that don't know, that is the sexual practice, or even non-sexual, of laying food down on an actual person's body. 
So like in Japan, it's very popular. They put sushi on a naked person's body and you, you eat the food off of the person. It's very intimate and it's very sexual, but there's no actual sex happening. Why hasn't that happened at a play party before? <laughs> You ha- it has! Oh! I the one, one time that we put a cake all over you! Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> and then there is the Korean popularized act of mukbang, which means to eat on air. And it's this online phenomenon where people come home and they've, you know, they just worked and they watch people eat food while they're eating their own dinner. And I'm here for that. <laughs> So in South Korea, people started eating food in front of their cameras with live people that would then donate money to them. And it just became this phenomenon where you felt like you were having an actual formal dinner with family who you know from online and you do it every day. They've even been able to quit their jobs because they make $10,000 a month, $100,000 a year. Like this is a full-time job for them. Wow. And it's become a full-time job because they they treat it very intimately. They're they're cooking food that looks really good. They're, you know, showing the food off. They're telling people how it tastes as they're eating it. And it becomes this completely new experience, a phenomenon. What we put into our bodies has an effect. So when people are donating money so that they can eat more food, it's it's almost like you're providing for them and it's almost a power play. <laughs> yeah, it's like a Dom sub sort of power play in a yeah. way. And also anytime you put something in your mouth, it's very sexual. I'm out. I can't digest this content. <laughs> so the very real concept of is this healthy kind of comes to mind when we talk about this food, especially as we've eaten so much and my stomach has started to, uh, swell. <laughs> is this healthy? Is this safe? Is this something that is ethically okay to support? Hmm. So like anything, these kinks are safer in moderation. I mean, realistically, this is a full-time job for some people. This is what they're doing day in and day out. But who are we to say that they're wrong? They can do what they want with their bodies. It's up to them. They're Lady Gaga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they can do what they want, what they want with their body, do what they want. All of that said, obesity is a very real, real issue and is very life-threatening. I mean, it comes with issues around mobility, heart disease, heart failure, diabetes. Take control of this situation responsibly. At the end of the day, if your fetish or extracurricular activity is negatively affecting your health and well-being, maybe that's not something you should do. And maybe it's time to talk to someone and not an encourager because those people might not have your best interest at heart. It may be just a fine balancing act of having the fantasy and the reality where you're fantasizing on, you know, just any other day when you're jerking off or getting off. Treating your body right and loving your body are not always the same thing. Being able to love your body and accept who you are, fetishes and all, is wonderful and great but knowing how to treat your body right, eat the proper things when you want and how you should are very, very important to separate. If you wanna see more of this, if you wanna see more mukbang episodes, leave a comment down below, join the conversation. Is this ethically okay to support? Good question. Bang that like button if you wanna see more mukbang episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to What's a Safe Word. We'll see you guys next time. Bye. Bye. When you get down to it, food play is just you sharing a pizza at your heart with someone but only if you can stomach them. I see which way you're trying to slice this. We're not trying to sugarcoat this topic because it is very serious, but we want to be muffin on top of this topic. That one was a, that was a stretch. Like a stomach.